Cisco have released a new version of Viral, or the Virtual Internet Routing Lab. They had a webinar in August, and they published details on YouTube, providing an overview of Viral Personal Edition 1.3. In that webinar, they discussed some of the updates, including the fact that iOS V Layer 2 has had a significant number of fixes. That's great news for us as GNS3 users. They mention here that we need to check the release notes. And here you go. So iOS V Layer 2 has had a lot of bug fixes, especially with Ether Channel. So as an example, there were crashes on boot with Layer 3 Ether Channels. There have been fixes to PAGP, DTP negotiation on a, a Layer 2 Ether Channel, and various other fixes. So there have been a lot of changes and updates to iOS V Layer 2. So that's great news. The CSR 1000V has had its performance increased. It used to be capped quite heavily. The cap is now set to 1 megabits per second. So various updates have been done to Viral. From a Genius 3 a lab point of view, the biggest updates has to do with the images that are now available. In this example, I've gone to viral.cisco.com and I've logged in to my account. And as you can see here, iOS V Layer 2 has been updated. The release date for this version of iOS V Layer 2 is 28th of August 2017. So what I'm going to do is download that version of Viral. That's now downloading. The CSR 1000V has also been updated. We have three versions that were released on the 28th of August, 2017. The ASA has also been updated. So I'm going to download version 971. The Nexus OS hasn't been updated, but iOS XRV has been updated. The latest release at the time of this recording is 6.13. So I'll download that. And iOS V has also been updated. So I'll also download that version of iOS V. So once you've logged into Viral, you'll be able to download the various operating systems for the various devices. As always, please note, don't ask me to give you images. I'm not illegally allowed to do that. And neither I nor GNS3 can give you viral images. To get a viral images, you need to buy a viral account, which costs $200 a year. Or through your company, you may be able to download the files directly from Cisco. I often get messages about people saying that a viral is too expensive. But just remember that Viral is very cheap when you compare it to the cost of physical hardware. If you had to buy routers and switches, such as an iOS XR, you would be spending huge amounts of money to try and replicate what Viral supports. Have a look at my other videos where I compare Viral to GNS3, to Packet Tracer, to physical equipment. I personally think that Viral is worth the investment because of the power and functionality that it provides you. Now I'm using Viral images with GNS3 instead of using the Viral platform. So all I'm downloading are images such, such as the iOS Layer 2 image. I'm not downloading Viral OVA images. I'm going to run these images directly through GNS3. I'm now going to demonstrate how to import the new viral images into GNS3. Now, in this example, I'm using GNS3 version 2.1 beta 1. This version of GNS3 allows me to download appliances directly from within GNS3. If you're using GNS3 version 2.0, go to gns3.com, click on the marketplace, click on appliances, 
and search for the relevant appliance that you want to install in GNS3. In this example, I'm going to select the iOS V layer 2 template and download that to my local computer. So back in GNS3, I'm going to go to File, Import Appliance, and I'm going to select the iOS V layer 2 appliance that I've just downloaded and click Open. We told that this is a multi-layer switch. KVM is required, which means that you need to be using a VMware product. VirtualBox doesn't support a nested virtualization, so you can't use a VirtualBox with this appliance. I'm gonna click Next. I'm gonna run this appliance on the GNS3 VM and click Next. My GNS3 server requirements are okay, so I'm going to click Next. Now notice the latest version of Viral is now supported in GNS3. So Enterprise 9.03.2017, which as we can see is this version released on the 28th of August 2017. So GNS3 has picked up that this Viral image is now available. Notice the new viral image is a lot smaller than the old viral images. So you can see it's about 39 meg versus 92 meg. So that's a lot better. So I'm going to select the latest version of viral and click next. I'm asked, do I want to install this version of viral? I'm going to say yes. I'm going to use the default QMU settings and click Next. A summary is displayed. Adapter type is E1000. This appliance has 16 adapters, requires 768 meg of RAM. The console type is Telnet, and KVM is required. In other words, nested virtualization is required, which means once again that you need a VMware product so that KVM support is set to true in GNS3. I'm going to click Next. There is no default password on this appliance, and there is no default configuration. I'm going to click Finish. We're told that the appliance is now installed. So in this version of GNS3, if I go to Installed Appliances, I can see the latest release of iOS V Layer 2. So what I'll do is drag the appliance to the workspace, and I'll start it up and open up a console. You can see that iOS V is booting. Software used is VIOS Layer 2. The device is booted up. And show version shows us that the version used is this experimental version 15.2. So I've now successfully imported the latest version of iOS V Layer 2 into GNS3. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like it and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I wish you all the very best.